Hi there. I just want to speak a bit about my job. Um, now, when I was younger, uh, I used to watch, like, Diagnosis Murder and Murder, She Wrote and Praro and all those sort of, like, detective forensic science films, uh, series. And, you know, I really wanted to be a forensic scientist or a detective. Um, but I remember, you know, in school, all these different guys came in and they would sort of tell kids about their, their wanted profession. And they couldn't find a forensic scientist for me, so they found a police officer. And, you know, what he basically told me was, it's not worth it. You know, you spend four years training to be a doctor, and then you have to train to be a forensic scientist, and then you're freelance. And really, I have to thank him, because that's when I started thinking about, what do I really like? And... You know, at the time, I was really into animation, uh, anime, I like, I liked Animaniacs and Batman and Samurai Jack back in the 90s, and so I decided to take a course in animation multimedia, and basically we get a big grant, and if you're not a total idiot, you can save the money, and you get free education. That's not what many of my peers do, they like to spend the money because they believe it's free money, which is completely wrong. And, um, but just before I went, did my animation course, I went to Japan on another grant, and, um, my, my host was an English teacher, and I realized how much I love teaching, and that's my job at the moment, I'm an English teacher, and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world, it's the most satisfying job I've ever had, and in Japan and Asia, it's one of the best paying as well. I mean, the job's quite dry, dry in Europe, and you don't get paid very well. So I was sort of going from job to job um, while I was in England um, with a really nice company. And between my foundation to my BA, um, I did a TEFL, and then I did a CELTA. And really, it was, it was in one of my jobs, I found someone who'd already worked abroad, and he put a word in for me. And that led to my job in Jakarta, Indonesia, just last year. Um, which was, you know, one of the best jobs I've ever had. I loved the people, I loved the lifestyle, I loved how relaxed it was, I loved the weather, the food was amazing. And, um, I realized I was quite distant from England, that I've been taught, you know, not to like England, you know, what, what capital did I have in it, you know, it, England wasn't interested in me. It just wanted me to be a good economic robot. You know, they wanted me to be a doctor or a scientist or something, something that would add wealth to the country. They didn't want me to be a fulfilled human being. And that really goes to the heart of what is the wealth of a nation. You know, it's its people. That's its lifeblood. Thank you for listening.